Aries, and welcome to your October 1st love reading. Welcome back, all my loyal clients, subscribers, and newcomers. It's great to be back after a little break. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment, especially if it resonates with you, please, and thank you. Again, this is a generalized reading. It may not resonate with each and every one, so please take what resonates with you and just push aside the rest. Again, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you're cross-watchers, check your other videos and your other signs, please, and thank you. We have the Four of Cups, we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Eight of Swords, we have the Empress. Very loving, very genuine, very real, very understanding, very giving. She can grow, she can thrive, she can develop, she can make things happen. She's very fertile, she's very sexual, she has great sexual skill. She's very sensual. When she loves, she loves wholeheartedly. She gives her heart and her soul. Many people are drawn to her or him because of the qualities that she possesses inside and out because she loves so deeply and she gives everything that she has. Again, beautiful, beautiful energy, Taurus and Libra energy. Okay, so we have a lot of Gemini, Libra or Aquarius energy in your reading. Hmm, okay. Well, you're in a situation right now, you're very discontent, okay? This is the heart of your reading. You're just very discontent. You don't see any of the choices or decisions in front of you, okay, or opportunities, or what the divine is handing to you. You're just, you're discontent. You're not happy right now. You're not happy. Again, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy. So, again, you're looking at new possibilities, and you're thinking about starting a new approach, how you can approach something. It, because you're all about contemplation. You're doing a lot of thinking here, deep, deep thinking. But you're all about dissatisfaction. You're not happy. You're not fulfillment. Or you're not fulfilled in this relationship right now. So again, you're you're contemplating on what choices you have. You're going to try a, a different approach in your relationship because you feel very restricted. You feel held back. You, have, you feel trapped in this relationship for some reason. You do. So right now, you feel trapped. You feel held back. You have uncertainties. You have doubts. You have fears. You have worries. And again, it's more of an illusion than anything, okay? It's more in your mind. You can easily come out of the situation if you want to. You can. You simply can. It's up to you whether you make the choice or not, okay? Again, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. You are going to have happiness. You are. You're going to find inner peace, inner happiness with security. It's committed, contented love, a very committed relationship, and a very happy home life. You need balance big time. You're out of balance in your cards, okay? Again, it's love, genuine contentment, happiness, success, harmony, joy, completion. Again, it's a very committed relationship and a very happy home life. You are going to find it. You just... You have to figure out why you're so discontent right now, why you feel trapped, why you feel restricted. You're not being yourself. You're not letting your real self come out. You have fears. You have doubts. Is it because you're with the person that is very sexual and is very physically attractive? Or what's going on? Well, someone is very determined to have things their way. Okay. And again, cancer or cancer. Um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy here, they use their head over their heart, okay? They do. When they love, they, lo they love wholeheartedly. They give their heart and their soul. They like to be decisive. They like to sit back and see the whole picture for what it is before they make a choice. They like to be analytical. They like to analyze a lot of things before they make a decision. So, again... Someone is using their head over their heart in this relationship, okay? And they're scared. They are scared that they're going to be hurt, that they're going to have heartache, pain, sorrow, and suffering. And it's caused you to feel very discontent. You feel shut out from this person. And this relationship has great success. I mean, you have the Ten of Cups and you have the Empress. This is su success, security, happiness, joy, completion, 
and a lot of love here. A whole lot of love. So you're going to be very determined, okay, to go after what it is that you want. You're going to make this relationship work no matter what you do, okay? And again, you're going to be very clear-minded, very perceptive. You're going to be in tuned in this relationship so you can make the right choices and the right decisions so you can go after what it is that you want, plain and simple. Again, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. No energies can be, be vice versa or interchangeable and timing is fluid. So again, with the impress, very loving, very nurturing. There's a lot of love here, a whole lot of love. Okay, what else do we need to know, please? And thank you, angels. For some reason, someone's not giving. And you're, right now, you're undecisive. You're unable to make a choice. You're at a crossroads. You're at a stalemate. Okay? And you're, you're saying, is it greener on one side or do I stay? Is it greener on one side or do I stay? Well, you are going to stay because there is a lot of love here. There is a lot of love. Again, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy is coming through so thick. Very strong. Very, very strong energy here. And again, as I said, there is a lot of love here with the King of Cups. The King of Cups loves with everything that he has in his heart, in his soul. He's very caring. He's very understanding. He's very loyal. He's very reliable. And he's very genuine. He's all about emotions. Okay. Yes, they have a jealousy tendency. Yes, they can be needy. But when they love, they give it their heart and their soul. There's a lot of love here. And you, I don't think you realize it. Again, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy. So let's see what's going to transpire. Well, there's going to be a lot of communication between the two of you. Again, this is news and communication. This is very quick, very fast. It's probably, you're probably together now. Again, very quick, very fast paced, bringing in eight Cupid's arrows towards you. This is news and communication between the two of you. Obviously, you're going to set rules. You're going to set boundaries. You're going to come together. You're going to open up the doors to communication so you can connect properly so you're not discontent so you're going to say look i'm petrified i'm going to be hurt i don't want to be hurt i want to be loved i want to be nurtured i want to be relished i want to be cherished i want to be the soul of your life i want to be your everything and this person is going to turn around and say you know what i want to be your everything as well plain and simple you got to put your fears to rest, my friends. You do, because there's happiness here. And a lot of deep, deep love. Gaining a wish and a chance to start over. This is the, what you've been waiting for with this person. A beautiful, beautiful energy. Again, Aquarius energy, Aries Leo or Sagittarius energy with the Eight of Wands. Again, this is releasing all those negative fears and replacing it with positive energy. This is a developing relationship, okay? This is a very successful relationship, a happy relationship. It's very genuine. It's your ideal partner soulmate, okay? And again, you're gaining a wish and a chance to start over. This is acceptance. This is where there's love and trust and great self-acceptance, great self-expression. It's happiness. It's complete. It's your ideal partner, soulmate. So you have to put your fears, your doubts aside, both of you, in order to make this relationship work. So you can make the right choice and embrace this beautiful beginning that is around you. Look, you have the sun. This is completion. This is content. Your inner flow youth coming out and being alive and vibrant and glowing, willing and ready 
to embrace the opportunities and adventures with each other. It's content. It's happiness, harmony, joy, great self-confidence, great personal achievement. Everything you want, need, and desire is right here. I have beautiful, whoops, that flew out. So that's coming out. They're lover's oracle cards, passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Beautiful. As I said, you're in for the ultimate relationship that you've ever wanted and ever desired. So again, it is the making sexual union honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss you got to connect the dots for this relationship soulmate cards twin flame soulmate cards what messages do we have for aries please and thank you Love overcomes all obstacles. A change in attitude is all it takes to turn things around. Trust in love's power. It will transform you and the one you love. All will soon clear. Wow. Any other messages, please, and thank you, angels. I'm using beautiful soulmate cards. I don't know if you've seen them. They're absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. They're very hard to shuffle, though. The quality of your thoughts equals the quality of life you experience. Thoughts are living energies on what you attract into your life. Think love. And that is what you will attract. You heard it from your angel oracle cards. You have a beautiful outcome. Release those fears. Release the things that are holding you back. Because this is going to lead to the ultimate relationship. Plain and simple. Connect the dots. Do the math. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you would like a more in-depth personalized reading, I do have specials going on. Just send me an email and I'll be happy to send you my information. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment, especially if it resonates with you. Please and thank you. And please be kind enough to hit the like button so this video can get out there and circulate. Much love and light and many blessings to each and every one of you. I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.